Ta la for love everybody, my name is Fipe. I am one of the Duffy Theatre actors this year for 2020. We've been going all around New Zealand doing shows for you guys, but now that we are all at home, we thought it would be a great idea to read you guys some books. So the book that I'm reading today is called King Pig. This book is written by Nick Bland, shout out to you, and also another massive shout out to Scholastic for providing today's book and all of the other Duffy books as well. All right, let's get started, I think. Okay. King Pig could never understand why the sheep didn't adore him. They were always complaining about one thing or another. They hardly ever smiled, and when they did... King Pig thought they were teasing him. They never listened properly, no matter how loudly he shouted. And the harder he tried to get their attention, the more they ignored him. Because he was the king, he could make the sheep do whatever he wanted, whenever he pleased. But he just couldn't make them like him. Maybe they would like me more if I looked fancier, said King Pig. For that, he would need a lot of fancy new clothes. But who could he get to make them? King Pig woke up all the sheep and invited them into his nice, warm castle. And there, he slept while the sheep went to work. They gathered up every last snippet of their wool and they knit, knit, knitted all through the night until the king had his pile of fancy new clothes. In the morning, King Pig was ready to prance. He looked... Spectacular! He was ferocious. He was fearless. He was the best dressed king in the kingdom. Wow. But when he stopped to take a bow, Nobody was watching. Nobody was cheering. Nobody was adoring him. What do I have to do to make you like me? Maybe you could try being nice, said the little voice. But I thought I was being nice, said King Pig, and he went inside to sulk. That night, King Pig couldn't sleep. He felt something he'd never felt before. He felt sorry. Then, 
at last, he thought of something nice he could do for the sheep. He worked through the night and into the morning. By sunrise, he was ready to say sorry in the only way he could think of. It wasn't perfect, but all the sheep agreed. It was a pretty good start. And that is the end of the story. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Uh, stay safe and look after yourselves. Ka kite, everyone.